Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ, best officer of the water I got in the field. Hey, we here in Gulfport, Mississippi. We in one of the many little projects here in Gulfport. We had a abundance of kids came up to the camp. The teacher asked what color was Christ. At least about 10 of them said Christ is white. So we got a big job to do in this community uh, throughout, not only here in Gulfport, but throughout the whole world because the world been poured over our eyes for too long and it's time for the truth to come out in the last days. The glory the what? The glory Come on. of God. Come on. And her light was light unto a stone most precious. Come on. Even like a jasper stone. Come on. Clear as crystal. Come on. And had a wall. And had a what? A wall. So he's describing your kingdom. He had a wall. Come on. Great and high. They had walls great and high. Everybody can't get in there. Everybody ain't gonna be able to get in your kingdom. He had a wall. What what you say? We talking about the kingdom of God, that you, the kingdom you're going to be in, that you're going to be ruling. Come on. And had a wall, great and high. Come on. And had 12 gates. How many? 12 gates. How many tribes in the nation of Israel? 12. Bring it out. Y'all see what's going on? You see what God got for you? You got to want it. Come on. And had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. They had what? 12 angels. What are those angels doing at the gates? Guarding the gate. They guard the gate. Come on. And names ring thereon. What was the names of those gates? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The 12 tribes of whom? Of the children of Israel. So kings do what? What do kings do? What's it, Sister Ashley? April. April. I'm sorry, Sister April. What do kings do in the kingdom? They, okay, I like that. Who do they have under them, Sister April? What do kings have under them? Uh-uh, under them. What you say, sis, sis April? Servants. Who gonna be your servants? Bring it out. Bring it out. Uh oh, it's time to get it's time to get the gritty gritty now. So you thought Christ forgot about that. Since you see that insult I made earlier, that comes from a spirit of how they dealt with us. Right. Right. How they did us. So it makes me angry. But Christ, Christ is gonna venge me. Right. I'ma show you that. Give me that in Revelation 13. Bring it out. She said it. Kings have servants. That's right. The individuals that put you into slavery will go into slavery. Right. You ain't gonna never have to work a day in your life again. Right. You ain't gonna right. never have to ask for nothing again. Jeez. That's the kingdom of heaven. Right. It's coming. Get yourself prepared for it. Take that graven image off, which is a white man's cross, off of you. You know why? Because it's his lie. That's right. That's you didn't right. know that. I know. But I didn't need it. But it's a lie. It represents your brother death. It's like walking around with a gun and your brother laid out on the gun and you say, yeah, I'm celebrating this much of my homeboy death. It's just a slaughter. It's just that the man was put to death. Watch this read. Revelation chapter 13 verse 10. Watch the prophecy. She said that you're going to have servants. Now who's going to fix that up for you? Remember, if you keep the what, you're going to get the kingdom. What we got to keep? Faith. Huh? Faith. What's the faith? Faith. I'm going to show you what the faith is. Don't go nowhere because I want to show you. I want to show them the faith, because they weren't here when y'all heard what the officer brought out. How do we get the kingdom of heaven? Give me the faith, Revelation 14. You Bring got it out, it? sir. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. What's the faith? Here is the patience of the saints. The saints are only the Israelites. Right. The saints can only be us. Y'all do realize that. This Bible is only talking to the Israelites. It ain't talking to the white man. It ain't talking to the Chinese man. It ain't talking to the Arabian man. They stole your book. They stole your book. And they taught you lies. They have no God. Right. They took your God and painted him white. Painted him of their image. They have no God. You have the one true God. That's why God punishing only you. He ain't studying them. Read it again. Here is the patience of the saints. Come on. Here are they that keep the commandments. They got to do what? Keep the commandments. You the saints, you got to keep the commandments. You got to show the world how to keep the commandments. The world is jacked. No, they allow homosexuality. Right. They allow you to lay with a dog. They allow you to do whatever the hell you want to do. You supposed to be teaching them what not to do. That was why you were born on earth. Right. That's why you was put here. That's why you was put here. You was put here to lead the earth. Read it again. Here is the patience of the saints. Come on. Here are they that keep the commandments. So, of so this is your faith. Read it again. Here are they that keep the commandments. Keep the what? Commandments. Keep the what? Commandments. Come on. Of God. Come on. And the faith 
of Jesus. What do we have to do other than having to believe in Jesus? Because if you believe in Jesus, you must do what? Did you catch it? Read it again. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So if I have faith in Jesus, what I got to do? Keep the commandment. That's how you get the kingdom of heaven. Now go back to the kingdom of heaven. Let's describe it. Revelation 13. Let's describe this kingdom of heaven. Sister April said you will have servants. That's correct. Come on. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. This is the gospel. That's why the gospel means good news. It's good news only for us. When Christ was walking around the earth, he was only teaching the Israelites. Did y'all know that? He wasn't teaching the whole world. He was teaching the Israelites. Matthew 15, 24, he said, I'm only come to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We can read now. Quit letting this man trick you. Quit letting this pastors trick you. Come out of them churches. Come up out of them churches, some lying churches. Read. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Who? Who led us in captivity? Another word for captivity is slavery. Who led us into slavery? And I ask the young people because they taking that out of the school. See, you going to know, I barely know. Yeah. I'm barely a little older than them. But they, ain't they taking that out of the school? Mm -hmm. They taking the slavery out of the school. So now we coming out of school, we don't even know how we know that we the Israelites because they not even teaching slavery no more. So you ain't going to know if you're Israelite or not. They doing it on purpose. Right. It's spiritual warfare. Yeah, you right. just don't see it. Mm -hmm. You just can't see it because right. you don't know what they know. But God know what they know. Because he put them over you for punishment. Read it again. He that leadeth into captivity. So we can agree that all nations led us to not only the white man, the Arabian man, right. the Chinese man. Y'all right. know that new Cimarron, that gang finna come out? That new Assassin's Creed gang? It has a Cimarron black man on it, right? How you think he got there? Right. Teach. How he get there? He was, um... He was he a was what? A, he was a servant mm. for, um... He was a servant for a Japanese man. How did he get? That's right. They you hit it. Him, they took him on a boat. They uh -oh. took him on a boat. <laughs> right. Let's see if that in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Yeah. That's how we know we the Israelite. All nations. Uh, that's why when a Chinese man come over here or when a Arabian man come over here, they got covenants with each other. They can start a store up the next day. Right. He, Preach, he just come off the boat. The next day he touch on American soul. He pop up a store. Right. But right you can't pop one up right, in, right in your neighborhood. Right. That's not no coincidence. It's no such thing as coincidence. They got a covenant with each other to be over you. Right. But you don't know that. Only how I know that, I had to see it in the, I had to hear it in the Bible that God said they made a covenant with each other. Y'all got to go back to your Bible. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. To prove that. That individual, that, that samurai comes straight out that ship. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt in the Bible means slavery. Again. Come on. With ships. With what? Ships. Moses prophesied your slavery. You, we was never taught that. He only prophesied a nation of people history. He didn't prophesy the white man history. Right. He didn't prophesy the Chinese man history. Right. He prophesied your history. Right. Always remember that this Bible is talking to you and your children. You and your children. It's your salvation. What are you going to do? Come on. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. It means you would never as a whole see your nation, your, your land again. Our land is Jerusalem. Who's over Jerusalem now? Who's over Jerusalem right now? Who's, who's occupying it? Ain't it three countries? But who's, you, okay, what was safe to say Jerusalem is near Africa? Who's occupying that land right now, Jerusalem, that, that line? You got Arabians and what? Israel, they call them, is, uh, um, what would they call Israel? Israelis. 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 Those are so-called white people in Arabians occupying your land. Right. Right. They fighting over your land. That's right. your land. They stole it and took it from you. Right. That's where you're from. You're not an African. Africans had you in slavery. Uh oh. Right. Right. See, you see right. that? Right. Everybody think they're African. Right. Everybody think they Egyptians. I'm an Egyptian, Queen Latifah. Wow, wow, wow. No, you're not. Right. The Egyptians had you in who you think Pharaoh was? Right. That right. was an African. Right. The right. top notch Africans. They was the prime in that time, they was the prime so-called Africans. Right. That's who they were. And they had you in slavery. You the real Jews. 
Now read that, come on. And there you shall be sold. And you shall be what? Sold. So when you got out those ships, like also were holding up, you were sold. You were taken from certain areas. When you were sold, it just went to white man. Slavery didn't even, slavery started way before that. It started with the Chinese man. It started with the Arabians. It started way before that. They was taking us and they was, um, you see these directions? Y'all come up. Y'all come up. This is class. You see these directions where they taking us? You got North America. You got South America. Look at all these places that come up. Look at Europe. You see how it's going all the way to Europe? That's how we know it's talking about us. No other nation on earth went through this cap this slavery. You got nations that went into slavery, but they was never brought across the whole world. God talking about it's a nation of people that wherever you go, they'll be everywhere. You go to China, they there. Right. You go to um Europe, they there. We here. You go to Japan, we there. We everywhere because they did this right here. Read it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What did God call them? Your enemies. They are never going to be out. people walking around. No justice, no peace. Right. No justice, no peace. They ain't going to never give you no justice right. nor no peace. Right. They made a covenant with each other to make money off you. Right. When are we going to understand that? Get off of the politics and go to God. Right. Get off of his system. His system never going to save you. Right. Come on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Come on. For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Your women were right there with the men. What makes sense for a black woman to go up against the black man? You're killing your own nation. Right. What makes sense for the black man to quit, keep fornicating his sister instead of marrying her? You know you bugging out your sister mm -hmm. when you lay down with her, you jacking her mind up. Right. Do you know when you lay down with a sister, you get spiritually bond? Right. You jacking her the hell up when you're not marrying her. Right. Not different men up in her. If the man would stand up, the women will follow. Right. You got to stand up. Stop being a follower of this wicked world and stand up for God. Right. If I can do it, you can do it. Right. Right. Come on. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man will be able to save you. Martin Luther King, great. Malcolm X, great. But they was not able to save us right. because they wasn't not fulfilling God's laws. Right. You got to keep God's laws to be prosperous. Now go back to Revelation 13 to get the, the, the prophecy. What's going to happen to our enemies for doing this to us? Come on. The book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity. So all the nations led us to captivity. The old Arabian man, when you go up in that store, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's, how's it going, brother? He's full of mess. Right. He's going to go into captivity. The China man, hurry up and buy. Hurry up. They ain't going to go into captivity. Right. Right. The white man that keep feeding you GMO foods. No good way they going to kill you. They gonna go into captivity. Come on. Shall go into captivity. What did the Bible say? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What that means? So if they gonna go into the uh, slavery, who they gonna be under? The heir? The kings. Right. You got the next kingdom. Right. Shut down. That's what, that makes God what? Fair. It's up to you to, be, to come and meet the Most High God and be fair with him. You gotta be fair with yourself. You gotta know that you live in hell and you gotta know that you have a creator. If yeah. he can make a nose and eyes and airs and trees and all this, surely I can wake up one day and be in a kid and that ain't nothing for him. Y'all right. gotta think outside of the box. Yeah. You gotta think in a wondrous miracle way. Like, I'm a miracle. This is a miracle. This is a creator. This is somebody who drew this. Surely he can put me in a kingdom that's gonna rule forever. And it's other things that I can't even explain that you're gonna see. That you're not even ready for to even be taught until you start keeping the commandments. It's so many things that you don't know. Right. You see all these superheroes and stuff flying in the air. Where you think they get that from? Right. You just not. I, I can't. I just can't give you all that right now. I gotta give you the basics. Come on. He that killeth with the sword. Who killed us with the sword? Who got the sword right now? Who was giving the blessings of the sword to uh, conquer the whole world? Right. The white man. Did you know he was giving that blessing in the book of Genesis? That's his blessing. But he will fall by the Most High God. Right. Most High God is only using him as a whooping stick. He a belt. Right. Don't never think they greater than you. They are just a belt that the Most High is using to whoop your behind. Because only a God can bring a God down. Right. Y'all gotta always understand that. Come on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. I'm gonna let you figure that out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword 
must be killed with the sword. Your time coming. It's coming. That angle you got in you is coming. When you see a, 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 a knee up on George Floyd's neck and you get angry, your time is coming. Right. Wait on the Lord. Have faith. Keep the commandments while you waiting on him. Right. Because it's him that brought you there. Get that in Baruch. I'm quoting the scripture. It's in Baruch 3. Baruch uh, 4. And 6. <clears throat> About um subject to payments. Three third, three and eight. I was quoting something earlier, but read this. I'm gonna show you what you in, in the predicament you are in this slave and why you was bought here. Who know why we was put into slavery? You can guess it. What's the answer to get out of it? I mean, we the strongest out of everybody. Well, why we can't get out of slavery? Bring it out. Because I'm we putting ourselves back down. What's the answer to get out of slavery? Yeah, um, what is it, keeping your commandments? Okay, keeping, keeping the commandments. Jesus. So if that's, that's, right, if that's, that's, that's right, that's right, on point. So if that's, and then we're going to get the scripture to prove it. So if that's the, the, um, the answer to get out of it, why were you put in it for not doing what, Sister April? Amen. It's that simple. Right. Christ didn't make it, he didn't make it difficult. We just hard hit it. You got what I want? Drop that. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Bring it out. Do the one between eight and one. We got another teacher. Yeah. I just want to get another. Yeah, After that, let us come on. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy. Stay put. Come on. Chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. What does it mean? Shall. It shall. It will. Right. Moses seen your kingdom. He, he showed Moses everything. Come on. If thou should hearken diligently. But you got to. It said if. If. Come on. Thou hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do all his commandments. We gotta do what? All his commandments. That's the if. That's the if. The sister gotta learn commandments. The brother gotta learn commandments. I had to learn commandments. My wife had to learn commandments. My children gotta learn commandments. Right. That's how we become holy. Come on. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He will do what? Set thee on high. Come on. Above all nations of the earth. Sounds like he's into what? Separation. Right. He's not into equality. The pastor's lying. I'm going to set you above them. Come on. Now, since you brought that out, he's going to set us above all nations. Watch this. Let me ask you something. Do you got a favorite anything? Do you got a favorite color? Do you? What about you, sister? Watch this. Give me second there's a 5 and 23. Since he brought that point, let's show you how plain God made it. That he loved us so much. Now, we may not think it because look where we be at. We had a projects, mm -hmm. low income, money ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Funds, low, all these type of things. Health ain't right. right. But guess what? We're not always going to be like that. God is going to elevate us to the top. But watch this. Read what you got. Second Ezra chapter 5 and verse 23. Go. And said, O Lord, that bearest rule of every wood of the earth. So God bear rule of all the wood of the earth. You see these pine trees right here, right? But there's plenty of other trees. Am I right? Watch this. Read. And of all the trees thereof. But, but of all the trees in the world that you see, oak, uh, uh, cedar, all these type of different trees you got, right? Watch this, read. Thou hast chosen the one only vine. He said, look, out of all the trees I made, I only chose one. What I'm showing you is God is in the favor of choosing. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Because we may have low self-esteem with ourselves or with our nation. We see each other and we don't value each other as royalty. We don't value each other. Look, that's my princess. That's my sister right there. Let me honor her. Let me respect her. We don't do that as our nation. Why? Because we're at the bottom. We're all at the bottom of the bucket fighting and scratching and clawing at each other. You know what I'm saying? Why everybody else is over us. Like that little script when we just rolled, the, 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 the little seafood ball, the Asian man on that, the next door with the, the, with the uh, paint with the Malcolm X, in the uh, Obama picture on it. Yeah. Oh, he on the whole little script. Why? Because guess what? They know how to band together. Right. We right. don't. Why we don't own nothing in our own neighborhoods? Because we don't value each other as the kings. We don't value each other as princesses. Right. But I'm just getting back to the point of we got low self-esteem as a nation. But we the greatest people that ever touched the face right. of the earth. Without us on the earth, won't nothing be shaken. Right. Now watch this. Let's see. Let's continue to read how God feel about us. Let's read. Verse 24. And of all lands of the whole world. So all the lands over the whole world, the big globe, you got all the land mass, right? Thou hast chosen the one pit. One pit, which is Jerusalem. That one tree that he chose is an olive tree. God's favorite tree is an olive tree. 
God's uh -huh. favorite pick is Jerusalem. Read. And of all the flowers thereof. So you ain't know God like flowers. <laughs> right. <laughs> so wait a minute. God like flowers? Let's see, out of all the flowers he made, let's see which one is favorite. One lily. He what? One lily. So his favorite flower is a lily. Mm. We going somewhere, right? Keep mm. up with me now. Read. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. One river. What do, what do y'all think God's favorite river is? Think about it. They used to always sing about it. Jordan River. There you go, my Jordan. man. That's you want right. it. Right. Jordan River is God's favorite river. Out of all the rivers, you got all these rivers here, in, in, even in the States. You got Mississippi River. You got all these other diverse rivers. You got the Amazon River. You got all these type of rivers, right? But he says his favorite river is that river Jordan. Watch this read. And of all builded cities, thou hast hollowed Zion. Zion, which is what, like I was brought out early. You got the Arabs and the, the uh, white folks fighting over our land because we ain't in there. They both fighting, trying to dominate, get the most land mass, fighting over, because they know we're not there. And the Arabs know that the white folks, the, the Arabs say, look, how in the hell the Israelites leave out black, but then they come back white? Right. The Arabs know, the Arabs say, hell no, this ain't y'all land. <laughs> Watch the read. But we don't know, though, because they ain't teaching us nothing in school, and the pastors ain't teaching nothing. I'm going over the pastors next, because you might think, oh, I need to get myself together, I'm going to church. Tomorrow, hell no. Bring it up. I ain't even. You got to come and understand what we come and get that. Cause they ain't gonna teach you no history that we just right. brought out. They ain't gonna teach you no laws. They ain't gonna teach you nothing. They set up by the oppressor. Right. Like, like you brought out earlier. If Jesus ain't white, but everybody say he white, and when you Google him white. The white folk must have set this up right, right. right or wrong. Ain't no black person set him up as, as king. Right. Ain't no black person set him up as uh he the Lord of Lords. A white man that did what? Enslaved us, raped us, did all these horrific things to us, put us on these ships. You got sisters. Let me ask you something, sister, real quick. I'm a divert, I'm, I'm, I'm a sidebar real quick. Hold my point. But I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sidebar real quick, right? So if you got all, you got thousands of us on these ships, you got a sisters in sections, you got men in sections, you got the little boys and girls in a section on the ship. Sack it up. Where did we use the bathroom at? Well, what about if our cycle came on, sister? We're going to be sitting there and it's going to be going on other sisters. And she was pregnant when she got the chains put on her. And it was that time for that baby to come out. Bring it out. You think the white man came down to help, help deliver the baby? You know what I'm saying? These are the things we don't think about. But these are the things.